Good evening and welcome, ladies and gentlemen. There is growing suspense and excitement over the over the special session of Parliament next week. Ladies and gentlemen, something special, surely. Maybe one move, two, three, some say as many as four legislations are going to be brought in which will completely transform this country. While all of this is happening, the BJP has already seriously started the 2024 election campaign. Today, as we speak, there is a meeting of the Central Election Committee of the BJP, its topmost leaders, to decide the strategy, do the thinking, make a plan, and then move on. Yes, it is quite clearly a poll-ready BJP. Prime Minister Modi is being hailed across the world, not just by his party, but today his Make in India policy is being hailed even by Vladimir Putin. His policy on the digital economy has been hailed even by the World Bank. And this does come on the heels of 2024. The opposition on the other side could not get the TMC to even attend their grand dotted alliance meeting today. Because one member of the TMC was in the ED office on a case of corruption and Mamta Banerjee is abroad. And when they came out, they said they are not getting into seat sharing. There is no seat sharing formula. In fact, the dotted alliance has broken up in Haryana, Delhi and Punjab. The Aam Aadmi Party and the Congress have declared that they will fight each other. In West Bengal, the left has said it will fight the Trinamool Congress and the Congress perhaps. The question is, if these dotted alliance members cannot get even a meeting of their own together, if they cannot even agree on sharing seats for the election, if they cannot be like-minded on whether to attend a G20 dinner or not, what national unity can they bring? What common purpose that puts India first? Because this India, the India of the last nine years, puts India first on the border in economic policy and in social upliftment. So much so that the Prime Minister's financial inclusion is being written about in World Bank reports. So much so that we have gone from fragile five to top five. So much so that we have gone from 12 kilometers a day of highway construction to 30 kilometers per day. So much so that we have grown to see an expenditure of 2.58 lakh crore rupees into highways from a number that was 586% less. This is complete transformation and it's visible before us. I can go on ladies and gentlemen, but the only question is this. Why won't the BJP capitalize on the Prime Minister's record? Aren't elections about proving records and going to the people? And not about coloring and discoloring religions and competing at it? And not about saying that we have come together to destroy and annihilate Hinduism. 